Hi friends, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a fun video to share with you guys today. I love watching the what's in my bag videos and so I thought it would be fun to film another one. I've filmed a couple on my channel before. I did film a what's in my purse video and I'll link it up there. And I think the very first one I ever filmed was a what's in my rehearsal bag video and I'll put the card up there as well where I just showed you the things I take with me to the theater when I'm in rehearsal or performances. But since it's been a while since I've shot one of those videos, I thought it would be a fun video to share with you guys this month. I got a beautiful purse for Christmas. I got it from my mother-in-law. This was a very special bag. It was not something that I would have purchased for myself. And uh, for me, it's a rather high-end bag because I'm the girl who likes to buy her bags on clearance at Ross and TJ Maxx, maybe Target every once in a while. You know, I don't usually spend a lot of money on my bags. And I really liked it not because it was a fancy bag or a brand name bag, but because my mother-in-law picked it out for me very specifically, and she and I have very similar taste. And so I fell in love with it when I received it, and I've been using it this month just to see how I like it and I really love it. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, if you enjoy those kind of videos, keep on watching. The bag I got was a Michael Kors purse. I think it's really, really beautiful. I'm not quite sure even what the name of this color is. I've looked it up online and I'll put the link down below to this bag and I will put the name of the color of the bag on the screen there. And I feel that it's neutral enough that it goes with everything. It's gonna be a beautiful bag to carry in winter into spring. But I'm the kind of person who really just picks a classic color and uses my bag year-round. For me, it's not about putting certain colors of bags with different seasons. I just love the colors that I love. And so this was perfect to me also because I love the light colored neutral um, handles there and I really love the little working there. It says Michael Kors there and you can see the Michael Kors. The thing that I love about this bag, you guys, is the pockets and the compartments. I have realized over the years that I am a girl who loves to have a bag that has lots of pockets, lots of little places where you can tuck things and organize. Um, it really helps me. So whether it's a small bag or a large bag, it's something I really love. My awesome family member that purchased this bag for me uh, talked to my husband and found that out and so she looked for that in a bag and I thought that was just so touching. There's pockets on both sides. There's pockets on right here and there's pockets on the front of the bag. And I assume this is the front because it's where you see the Michael Kors label. I'm not sure, I'm calling it the front. Let me show you inside. There's all sorts of compartments and fun things. I had a performance last night of the show that I'm in. We had our opening night, it was wonderful. And this week has been crazy and I've just been throwing things in my bag and going. And so my favorite kind of what's in my bag videos to watch are the ones where they just pick their bag on an everyday, normal day and just share what's in it. So that's what I did with this one. But I love how pretty it is. I actually even wore a shirt to kind of match it. <laughs> I know, I'm so cheesy. <laughs> there were actually two small pockets on one side and then on the other side there is a zipper pocket as well as another small open pocket. Uh, but we'll get into all of that. So I'm just gonna pull things out one by one. I've shown you guys my wallet before. It's a Kenneth Cole Reaction Wallet. I picked it up on clearance. Uh, I think it's Steinmart and I really, really like it because it's got lots of, you know, compartments pockets. I'm pretty simple here, people. <laughs> this is my makeup bag that I always carry around with me. I like to carry a small bag like this so that I can just put the odds and ends that I need. And honestly, this probably has most of what I use, but since I'm in a show, I've probably pulled some of the makeup out of here and put it in my show makeup bag. Um, so I'll just tell you what's in here right now. I just keep a handful of things in here, like I've got some fast fix concealer. I've got some lipstick that I love. That's something that would be fun to do is uh, go through the lipsticks that are currently in my bag because I'm obsessed with lipsticks and I wish more people made videos where they shared all the lip colors they carry with them every day. Um, so I have a handful of fun little lip products in here. I have a little Tarte lip gloss sample that my friend gave me and I love this color and the name isn't on it there so I'm gonna have to take it to Sephora and match it because I love it. Uh, I have my favorite liquid lipstick in here. Um, some Pacifica mascara, my Lancome foundation stick that I really love, my Estee Lauder concealer, and an Anastasia Brow Wiz, a Clinique eye pencil, a NARS lip pencil, my Benefit brow gel that I absolutely love. There's a lot of things that fit in here. My little tweezers, this 
lip maximizer from Lancome that I love. Oh my word, so good. It was a splurgy purchase, but I loved it. And then my Gabrielle lip gloss and a promotional lipstick that I got at Sephora. It is the Kiss Kiss Get Bang Bang. I think it's the Marc Jacobs lipstick. Love that. So that was everything that was in there. And I got this pouch at Target. I don't know if they offer it now, but they have these little bags all the time at Target, this size, that you can purchase pretty regularly. And I love it and I use it all the time. Yeah, this is a paper chase one. As I put all of this makeup back in here. I love the size, it's very compact. Moving on. I have my sunglasses in here. My husband got me some Ray-Bans for my birthday a couple of years ago, and I love them. <laughs> I have my little hairbrush, which is very old, but I love how small it is. It's a little Conair hairbrush. I have one of these black head wrap headband things. I'm obsessed with these, and I use them all the time. I usually get um, packages of them at Target. I love them. This is random. <laughs> I have a Crystal Essence Mineral Deodorant Towelette in Lavender and White Tea. I picked these up for working out a long time ago, and I think I threw one of these in my bag this week because um, I knew I would be having late tech rehearsals. I couldn't find my deodorant, and I wanted to make sure I had one <laughs> for after the rehearsal. So that's why that one's still in my bag. I have my nail Nice and X nose spray because you know Texas and allergies. I have my Thieves dental floss which I love because it's in the shape of a tooth and I just keep dental floss in my purse in case you know you're out to lunch and you have a salad and you smell really big and there's some huge thing in between your teeth. You know how it goes. Then I keep my little pill container in my purse and I do that because I keep medication in here and also, uh, most importantly, I keep my supplements in here because I like to take my supplements after I eat. So if I'm out to lunch or out to dinner, um, I'll have them and I can take them after I eat because I feel like my body just absorbs them better with food in my stomach. And then I also just keep like pain relievers and things like that in there. I got it at the container store. I've gotten the cheaper ones at the dollar spot at Target and they always break. So I just invested in one, I think it was a couple dollars at the container store and it's been great. And then I love these mints, you guys. I think I picked them up at Sprouts a while ago and they're made with 100% xylitol, which is a natural sweetener. And they're cinnamon, natural and sugar-free Spry Gems mints and they're so good. That's everything that's actually in the body of the purse. And the thing I haven't used yet that I really like is it's got this little clip, like if I wanted to put keys on it or I had a little tote that had a little clip to it, it's just a nice safety feature and I like that. So that's at the bottom of the bag, but I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna go through the pockets inside. I'm gonna start with the zipper pouch because there's probably a lot of things in here. And I bet you will not be surprised at all to know that mostly what's in the zipper pouch <laughs> are pens. I'm obsessed with pens and stationery. I always keep a gazillion pens with me. We're probably gonna find, no lie, probably over five or six pens in this bag by the time we're done with this. I mean, that's just my real life. Yep, immediately, what do I pull out? Yes, pens. Okay, so far four. I think the problem is, is that I throw them in the zipper pouch so that in case they get open or uh, the ink comes through, they won't leak on the actual bag and then I forget that I have so many in there. So I have one of these clear little squeegee hair ties that I picked up at Sephora that I really like. And then I have four pens here, this beautiful write it down pen that I purchased at Anthropology about a year ago and I love it and it's refillable. So it's a gel pen. And then these tool white special edition Gel pens are some of my favorites. I get them at Office Depot. I love them. And then I've had this pen forever and I love it. It's the Una Jetstream pen. It's a ballpoint. I wanna say this one was like seven or eight dollars, but I've had it for two or three years and it hasn't run out of ink and it writes really well. And then one of my other favorite gel pens is the Pilot G210. It's the bold one. All the pens, people. And then I also keep my earbuds in here. These are just some cheap ones I bought on Amazon and I like them because they're in earbuds and they're affordable. I got them in hot pink so I wouldn't lose them. I've got the tag to my purse. I guess I just stuck it in there after I got it. A couple of hair ties. I have a receipt here. Oh, this is really old. This is actually temporary cement because I just got some dental work done last month and the dentist gave it to me in case I had any issues before I came back. Oh, hashtag. Bad teeth problems. And then I've got my car key in here, and then I've got another set of keys in here. In the very small pocket right next to the zipper pouch, ah, there is a movie theater ticket in there. And then there is some feminine protection. TMI is what I say there, too much information. And then the pocket next to it, 
You guys knew they had to be in my purse somewhere. All the oils. I'm an essential oil user. I can't have a purse for my everyday that doesn't have oils in it. I mean, yeah, that's just how I roll. I have some Thieves hand sanitizer in here. This is my favorite hand sanitizer because it doesn't make my hands feel funny. I love that it smells like peppermint. And then the gold standard, guys. I use this almost every single day. I keep deep relief in my purse and I love the roller ball and it fits really well in the pocket. And then I have some other oil products in the other two pockets. And then the final pouches that I was gonna show you are these two pockets on the other side. That's the thing I love about this purse. It's a decent size, but I feel like I can get even more in there because there's these little pockets inside that don't make the purse heavy. I have my Valor spray in here. I had a piece and calming spray in here, but it did run out and I haven't had a chance to remake one yet because I've been so busy. But one that I made is that I put Valor and the bulk of it is Valor. I think I put 10 to 15 drops of Valor, which I know is a lot in here, but I feel like it still lasts longer in a spray bottle than just using 10 to 15 drops outright. And then I had put the peppermint sticker on here as well because I had added, I think, one or two drops of peppermint just to make it really refreshing in the summer. And I love this one. So this is mostly Valor, but a little bit of peppermint and water, distilled water, that's all it is. It smells so good. It's a wonderful little pick-me-up. And then this is something that I just got yesterday. I love the little freebies that you get at Sephora. And this was one of their uh, Point Redemption products. It's a Bobbi Brown lipstick, and I'm actually wearing it today. It's very natural. This is the lip color in Sandwash Pink. Isn't that pretty? I love a new lipstick. But it's like just a real pretty pinky nude. And then the last pocket on the inside. I have a couple more things here. Let's pull them all out and show them to you. These are tiny little pockets, but you can get a lot in these pockets. Wow, all that fit into one of the tiny little pockets. So some clear eyes eye drops because, you know, Texas allergies, as I said before. And then I have a Thieves cough drop, which I always try to keep Thieves lozenges or cough drops in my purse. And I've been going through them a lot since we've been in Tech Week for our show, so I just had the one cough drop left. And then this is one of my old Thieves spray bottles because, you know, I talked about this, I like the old packaging because I can see through it and see when it's empty. And I just refill this with distilled water and a handful of drops of Thieves, shake it up, and then it's my Thieves spray ready to go. So I always keep that in my purse. And then I have two more essential oils in here. Breathe Again has become another staple for me, uh, especially during this lovely season and I keep this one in my purse all the time and I definitely use this one every day and then uh, I don't know why I have this in here but isn't it lovely my favorite essential oil blend from Young Living Peace and Calming and then the only other things I was going to show you are these little pockets here on the outside what I usually do is keep my phone in one of these pockets and that's another thing I love about this purse because I have a large phone I am very bad at losing my phone and so it's really easy for me to just stick it in one of these pockets so I can see it right away that it's in there and I don't lose it in the depths of my purse because you guys know you can lose things in the depths of your purse so easily. So now I'm just going through these pockets and I just reached in here and didn't expect to find anything but look what I found guys. This beautiful necklace that I got for Christmas. I think I had stuck it in there so that I wouldn't lose it. See what's in here. This is the moisturizing lip color balm and plum berry. I've talked about this in previous videos. I think in one of my favorites videos and I keep that in the outside pocket. So if I need to reach for some lip balm, I've got it. Oh look. <laughs> uh, in the next pocket, because there are two on this side and two on that side, more pens. Shocking, I know. Uh, this is the Sharpie pen. I love this medium point. Most people like the fine point, but I like the medium point. So I usually keep this one out to sign receipts and stuff if I'm out and about. And this is a really pretty little pen that I bought for my planners uh, that I picked up at Target that's also a felt tip pen, and I've been using that one a lot. And then I just recently decided to try out the Papermate Flare pens because I've heard they're really nice to use in the power sheets that I have, my goal sheet set. And I found a set of five of them on sale really cheap at Target. I think I got five of them for like four bucks. And then the very last pocket of this purse, oh look, how fitting and perfect. 
a thieves lozenge. Now it's empty, you can see the inside there. So there you go guys, that is everything that was in my bag today. I don't think you need to have an expensive or designer bag to find the bag that works for you. And I was just really grateful that this was a gift and so I enjoy it. So if you are interested in this particular bag, I will put the link down below. But you know, if it's not in your price range or if it's not something that you love, look for the bag that works for you. I will put links to as many things as I can down below that I shared with you that are in my purse if I can find them online. If there was something specific that I had that you're interested in where you can get it, uh, let me know in the comments. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love that. I'll be back at you soon with another video. Bye!